you know, letting us pretend like we have a real radio show. We have a real radio show. We're in the top of the Empire State Building at the Anthony Cumia Studios. So oh, yeah. Show. Come the, on, man. The the rattlesnake den. <laughs> the ra- yeah, the rattlesnake Puerto Rican snake rattlesnake pit. den. <laughs> in the snake yeah. pit. The What's den in Spanish? Uh, abuela? Is it abuela? <laughs> Alam- alambre. Uh, every word in Spanish is abuela, guys. <laughs> um, you know what's funny is like sometimes I'll try to be racist and I'll add O to the end of a word to like make it Spanish. And yeah. And it turns out to just be the word. <laughs> <laughs> like you got restauranto. That's it. I don't think that's the name of a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, restaurant. Librario. Librario. That's it's Biblioteca. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a famous one. I feel like everyone goes to Biblioteca. Yeah. When I was in Spanish class in, uh, in middle school, uh, me and my friends thought we were really clever, so we made up a gang. We're like, we're Los, Las Mariposas, the butterflies. <laughs> we thought that was hilarious. And like all, like all, like we kept making jokes like, oh, Las Mariposas, they're gonna get you. And then like my teacher couldn't take it, like midway through the semester, and she just like slammed a book down. She's like, that means the homosexual. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you had no idea it was slang for gay man. Yeah, we didn't know that. So you're gay. Gang was there. <laughs> I mean, it That's was pretty the butterflies. Good. We didn't think it sounded too hard. That's you guys, pretty artful. Yeah, yeah. Do you know the rule with like uh, Mary Cohn and Cabron? There's mm-hmm. like the two of them. This Peruvian guy told me like 10 years ago, but he's like, you know, like if you're friends with Mexican guys, you can call them Cabron. Like that's like a term of endearment or whatever mm-hmm. among them. He's like, but don't call other South America or like other Spanish speaking people Cabron. Really? Cause like Cabron apparently just means like top faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want to be a yeah, Cabron. Yeah. Right, right. And then Maricon <laughs> is like the bottom one, but that's only oh, like. Oh, you mean top, like top yeah, and bottom. He's like top like and bottom. So ass. it's like, you're like a pimp if you say it to a Mexican. No, I don't, I didn't check any of this. <laughs> Peruvian guy told me. Peruvian guy whose name. At a bus. Station. No, I worked with him. I mean, we took the bus together, but I worked with him. So maybe he did tell me at it the bus station. It was on a bus. It was on a bus. It was a Peruvian. It was a fat Peruvian kid. I love it. And I swear to God, his name was Nick Nolte. <laughs> He told me, he wrote that down as his name on a thing, and I was like, no way, that's hilarious. Like, you put that down. That's a good reference, dude. That was that's a cool, bad. that was yeah. a solid reference. Sexiest Kate Fear, I love it. And then he was like, what? And I was like, that's, not your name and he was like yeah it is and he was also a pathological liar mm. and he we were i think we were talking about that the other day it's like pathological liars about, yeah they about have all these bullshit stories and diesel. then the, one of their stories will be like real oh yeah, yeah, yeah and they're yeah, like yeah, yeah. you fucking actually oh, beat up a chimp yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, like, that actually happened for real he's got like pictures of him and the chimp he's got blood all over his face but yeah no so he pulls out his id and there it says nick nolte spelled the same way spelled in exactly the same way that's and awesome it, yeah and i was like that's insane he's like, yeah, it's a family name. I'm like, well, <laughs> every name is a family. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, That's what does that mean work. when someone says it's yeah. a family oh, name? Oh, well, it's a family name. It means they don't know how to read. Yeah. That's what it, means. <laughs> it means they've never encountered another human being in the world. Unless their whole family is all just like, you know, share. And Madonna. <laughs> this is my aunt Madonna. <laughs> Did you this know that uh, Marcus Dudu Brown was a family name? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? I don't want to shit on Marcus. He's yeah, I don't want to doo-doo on Marcus. There we go. Marcus is a good comic. <laughs> He's I like Marcus. Funny. Um, we're still drinking coffee, guys. Uh, we got the Rift Juice Rift going. Juice. Starbucks. Woo. Let me get a Grande Rift Juice. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, so Maricon is the bottom one. Mm, Cabron is the top one. Yeah, that's such an awesome term of endearment. Yeah. It's like you fuck a man in the Power ass. Power top? You're yeah. my boy, dude. <laughs> you fuck, you're my bottom. You Mexicans have cool slang, dude. They're cool. What else they you got? You know what I don't understand? Uh, what, what's the proper term? Is it, you can, uh, Mexican's fine. You can say that, yeah. right? It you know, feels you know, a little weird, you know, but funny. Yeah. It felt weird. Yeah, because like growing up, most of the people I knew that were like Hispanic were like you had to call them Hispanic because they could be from Venezuela, right, or, right, right, or you know, El Salvador, Mixed bag in, uh, yeah, yeah, in, uh, Salvador, uh, or whatever, Colombia. But then I moved to Texas, and people yeah. in Texas are like, "Oh, there's a bunch of Mexican guys that live yeah, there." Yeah, it's like, keep the, your voice down. I grew up in the Southwest. So, yeah, yeah that was and they're exactly all Mexican, yeah, yeah. so you could call them. That. Really, you didn't yeah, have any yeah. like, fucking Mexican, Uruguayans, yeah. any any, any Spanish that. person. But you what just is? Say, Look at the fucking Mexican over there. But what even is that? like Puerto Rican people are like, "Oh, I'm Mexican, man. Well, I don't know what to do." Oh, yeah, I yeah. see, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's just. Uh, what is Chicano? Is that if you're like for you're from Chicago? Is that like Chirac? <laughs> if you're in Chirac but you're Mexican, Chicano, you're Chicano. I feel like it means you're wearing like a velvet shirt. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's a like, clothing yeah, thing. Yeah, like a yeah, vato? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, no, silk. No, vato just means dude. Chicano is like, yeah. they, uh, like, I identify as Chicano. Oh, really? Yeah. I Chicano got... is, Chicano is on par with Hispanic or Mexican or wow, Latino. Wow, this is how stupid I am. I think Chicano, I just think, the guy, the from the Jesus, the Jesus character from uh, uh, fucking help me out here. The bowling, I can't believe. I'm oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Lebowski. <laughs> Lebowski. Yeah. That, yeah. When you say Chicago, you know the bowling movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, the famous Jesus. bowling movie. Yeah. <laughs> Big Lebowski. Oh yeah. You when just you say don't know Ch- any words, <laughs> when you say Chicano, that's what I think for some reason. And I bet I can't wait to Google it later and find out how I, wrong I am. I think uh, I think Michael Chiklis. <laughs> I think Chicano is like the me- the Mexican uh, term for Michael Chiklis. I think about that movie Blood In, Blood Out. Yeah. So if you <laughs> look you like Michael, movie? if you're Hispanic but you look like Michael Chiklis, <laughs> you're, you're Chicano. Sure, you're if you're ch- like bald, like if you're like a bald, portly Latino guy, you're, how, that's what Chicano is. And how short do you think? Uh, he seems very short. Four foot eleven, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he was 4'11". And then when he goes on talk shows, he goes, or as I like to call it, five foot negative one. (laughs) He like winks. That's good. Yeah. As everyone applauds him. Chickless, great talk show guest. We'll have him on. We'll We'll have have him on. on. Yeah, Yeah. we got Chickless coming Is Chickless short? We're going to make fun of him. He's He's like the same height as us. No, no, I think he's short. He looks like a testicle. He does. Somebody described Bob Hoskins that way one time. That he looks like a testicle. Yeah, an angry testicle. <laughs> That's pretty good. You know what's funny? Wait, he, like, this... died loathing the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Was that so movie was that. so bad. It was really bad. It, everything about it was awful. That might have been the most underwhelming celebrity death of all time. Bob, Bob Hoskins? Hoskins? Yeah. What happened? He was nobody, in a lot of really good movies. He's a, he was an amazing actor. Yeah, he was. He was really talented, mm-hmm. and he died, and nobody gave a shit. Yeah. When did he die? He died, like, two years ago, mm-hmm. and... Really? On the anniversary of his death last year, articles about his death started coming up, and people were like, oh, my God, Bob Hoskins died. Well, that's what happened, dude. I feel like literally in like a year, this past year, everyone claims they loved every celebrity. Mm-hmm. Like, it used to be there'd be like a status here or there, but everyone's writing an essay now. I don't fucking – like, were people that important to you? It Doesn't it feel like it just right. became yeah. a thing? I mean, some of them were like – you know, Muhammad Ali's big. Sure. Prince Bowie, is big. Prince. The fucking the bad yeah. guy from Harry Potter. That one was stupid. Yeah. Snape? Yeah. Well, he was a he wasn't the bad die guy. hard. <laughs> I don't know. He ended up being the good guy. You <laughs> fucking illiterate piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. <laughs> You'd be illiterate to see a movie. <laughs> yeah, he starred in a book. Dude, there's a new Harry. <laughs> he starred in a book, dude. He was also, they had pictures of him. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, fuck no way. Uh, but we, yeah, we got the big, big boy foodie out here. Thanks for coming. Lives in fucking Santa Monica, dude. I West know, it's side. very nice. We now, fucking, what's that stand for, Santa Monica? It is it's well, we, named it's, after. It's named after Santa and, and Monica, Monica from Friends. Friends. Yeah, yeah. The you guys put up with a lot of that's a bit from our vacation day. Well, I, I like to drive around and I do like a, a day laborer character. Yeah. <laughs> And then he's like saying, asking the names to play. But I think it's really funny to do like a, like a, like a guy that obviously speaks Spanish natively, but he has trouble pronouncing. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, hey, do you know how to get to, uh, how you say, uh, uh, uh Santa, uh, Santica? <laughs> Santa Monica? <laughs> Santa Mo, Mo. <laughs> yeah, how do you get to a, uh, uh, a pa- Pasadena. <laughs> is Pasadena even a Mexican or Spanish name? I don't give a shit. <laughs> probably. It probably it sounds is. that way. Yeah, yeah, the joke is that they can't, you know. Say Spanish stuff. Say Spanish stuff. All right. It's a good joke. Yeah. I like it. Man. Yeah, I, I like uh, funny voices. So. Yeah, me too. That's uh... You were saying earlier, or I was saying earlier, you take any, uh, any accent... And mm-hmm. you, instead of turds, they say twerds. <laughs> <laughs> it works with any accent. I, I think like, that's where is the bathroom? I have to make a twerd. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many twerds in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I, you, how do you get to the bathroom? Because I have to, I have to, uh, uh it's a twerd. <laughs> <laughs> That I have to take. <laughs> <laughs> Is it twerd? I have to take twerd. 
Oh, hey, Bumba Glut. I got so many twirls in me ass. <laughs> it sounds I very read. good with the Jamaican. I've got twirls in me ass. I've got in me ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really works across the board. 